Donna Kilmore. Excuse Thank me. you. Um, uh, you have the slides. Okay. I live about uh, five miles uh, from uh, San Onofre, and um, I appreciate the work that the staff has done on that report. I've worked very, very closely with them. They've given us a lot of great information. Now all we have to do is pay attention to it. In terms of jurisdiction, the special condition, too, says, okay, we know eventually we're going to have a problem with this site for, for the coastal requirements. But if you promise to move it before that happens, it will be okay. Well, how can they even do that? The waste, anybody that has a waste is keeping it. That's the reality. We all know it. The staff report clarifies that. Um, so to me, in terms of jurisdiction, the NRC may eventually uh, approve the system, but they're saying it's okay for 20 years, and we don't look at anything that might happen to it after that. Their own staff has information that these thin canisters could crack. If they're cracked, they can't be transported. So you need, your coastal act requires you to look a lot longer range than what the NRC is doing. So I, I don't think there's an, a conflict with the Coastal Act in the NRC, but I think there's a role where you can have some requirements too. And Edison can pick a, bet, a solution that meets coastal requirements and NRC requirements, and that's what they need to do. The, the system they have picked is unproven. There has uh, never been an underground system like this anywhere in the world. Uh, they claim Humboldt Bay is similar, but Humboldt Bay takes their thin canisters and puts them in thick casts, so it's not the same. So this is not a proven system. The only thing we do know is that these canisters are subject to cracking, and that's from the NRC's own information. They cannot inspect them or repair them according to the vendor that makes them. Um, and the special condition two says, well, we'll give you 20 years to figure out how to inspect them, repair them, maintain them. Well, if that doesn't happen, they're going nowhere. You can't transport those canisters. And that's where the Coastal Commission cares. That's where, that's where, that's, that's, that, that's our job here to, to care about that. Now, Holtec, the company makes them. They got a 10-year warranty on that big concrete understru underground structure. 10 years, that really shows they're putting their money with their, you know. And then the thin canisters, 25 years. That's it. And then they're going to take the existing San Onofre canisters that may already have cracks. They don't know that they have cracks because they can't look at them. They can't look. They're going to, oh, they're going to give those a big two years. So there's your confidence level right there. Let's go to the next uh, slide. Okay, this is what they do in Germany. They've been using thick cast technology. One cast, use it for storage, use it for transport. You can take the top off if you need to. They have remote monitoring. They put it in a building for extra environmental protection. They've been used over 40 years. How long has the UMAX been used? About uh, what, a few months at Callaway they installed one. So a few months versus 40 years. Which one are you going to count on to protect our coastline? Fukushima, next slide. Fukushima, the thick cast, thick cast technology, thick storage transport cast, not these thin 5 eighths inch thick things. Next slide. Okay. Well, will they leak? Won't they, you know, won't they crack? Will they crack? Won't they crack? Diablo Canyon, two-year-old canister, has all the conditions for cracking. Coburg Nuclear Plant, located in the same environment as us. Through wall leak in 17 years, failed in 17 years, same environment, onshore winds, lots of moisture, lots of fog. The NRC, in their approval, says anything after 20 years, we're going to pretend we don't care. So we aren't even going to consider if these canisters are designed for any aging management. That is the NRC approval process. Hopefully the Coastal Commission will use some common sense and do better than what the NRC is giving us. The next slide. Now, this is the difference between what Edison wants to use and what they can use. They can choose. They don't have to choose the thin ones. They can use, choose canisters that meets coastal requirements and NRC requirements. Uh, they won't crack. You can repair them. You can inspect them. They have early warning maintenance. 
um, you know, on and on and on. Let's go next slide. One thing that isn't addressed in this report, because one, one of the special conditions, too, is, well, they need to come up with a way to deal with problems in 20 years. You don't have to tell us what you're going to do now, but in 20 years. Okay. It's not 20 years. San Onofre has had CAS since 2003, so that means in eight years they should have a plan. Well, they should have a plan before, and they don't. So that needs to be addressed in here. Waiting 20 years to know what they're going to do isn't going to work. Next slide. Now, in terms of uh, the, the, the TN24 cask is one example of a thick cask technology. These are, this is just a list of all the countries and areas they're used. These are used in the United States. They're, um, these and some thick German casks, they're the longest used. They're the most proven technology available. They, they still work. And, uh, and then one that more slide. If you're going to listen to, Santa, to Edison and believe their promises, they have the worst safety complaint record for over six years. These are employees that complained to the NRC because San Onofre wouldn't take care of, of a safety issue or a problem. That Thank red you. line Thank you. is, so don't believe a company that has that lack of credibility. Thank you. Thank you.